So, um, it's a double pun because it's a cat and a tree. <laughs> oh, <pretty good. laughs> uh, unfortunately, Victor's uh, had to go, so he was the one who proposed this hack idea in the first instance, and he was probably the most eloquent at explaining it. Um, so the, the basic problem that we were trying to solve here was that uh, there's loads and loads of carpentry lessons, but it can be quite difficult for trainees and trainers alike to create bespoke uh, learning solutions, like to, to figure out specifically what you want to learn and the entire sort of list of prerequisites um, in an efficient manner. Um, so over the course of the day, we worked on uh, well, we worked on several different activities. Uh, the first was to create a kind of gold standard. So. Um, <laughs> Patricia and Victor sort of sat down and they meticulously went through all the carpentry lessons and thought about a list, a kind of chain of prerequisites that you would be able to follow to learn a certain thing, which was all, all, all the list. I'm not sure which one that was. Um, but yeah, uh, and then we kind of wanted to be able to dynamically create that um, from, from the re repertoire of carpentry. Uh, materials. So uh, we wanted to scrape the carpentry resources, <coughs> to then analyze them and find connections between them, and then to uh, make a visualization of that dependency tree. So that's kind of what we worked on. Uh, so this is the, the vague architecture. We take all the software carpentry examples, we used a, a Python library called Beautiful Soup, and then we kind of started analyzing them and trying to figure out. Uh, what, which episodes uh, are referenced by a target episode. So there's a target episode that you want to learn, um, which what, like, are the mentions of previous episodes listed within there. And then we managed to, just by the skin of our teeth, manage to get it displayed as a, a visual graph that's kind of interactive. So we worked uh, in a sort of Scrum Agile system. Um, <laughs> We <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so basically, yeah, as I said, we, we kind of tried to make a gold standard whilst we, so we kind of did it from the top down where we designed one, and then we did it from the bottom up where we tried to uh, dynamically invent one, uh, and we sort of split that out into four runs. Uh, we used a whiteboard and had sprints and all that kind of goodness, which uh, was really quite a positive and uh, enjoyable experience. Uh, I can show you briefly what it looks like. Um, excuse the sound, possibly, I have too many tabs. Uh, but yeah, this, this is kind of like the, the prototype that we managed to develop. So you, you put in a target episode, like I want to learn the looping data sets episode, and then it tells you all of the different things that you should probably complete beforehand. We never got to the point where we uh, managed to sort of find like store all of the prerequisites for each of the lessons that you should have learned. But it was a very, very promising start and, and I think we were all quite excited about um, like sort of developing it further in the future. Um, some of the great ideas that we've had for, for future development. Uh, one, well, we, we were thinking that we can bring in the metadata from each of these different episodes and that has things like uh, the amount of time it takes. So you, you might be able to scale a learning path based off uh, your available duration. So if, if you're teaching a course and you know you only have two days to get through so many points, then you'll be able to maneuver a slider along and it will be able to sort of uh, trim the tree accordingly. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, so this is basically a proof that we're still working on. So uh, it's actually a live one. On my laptop, but uh, it's basically the time that you aim to spend on each of the episodes. You, this is your background that you can select. So what it's going to do is going to scrape all the carpentry materials. It's going to populate how many episodes is there, how many carpentry lessons is there, and your progress so far. And then you can tap on the topic that you want to learn. And on the side, you can have like different languages that you want to identify. And not only that, you can go even further and like translate it into different other things that you want to achieve. Um, so all of the code, uh, we put it on GitHub, unfortunately we've not managed to have time to do anything other than um, on a, a development machine, but we could put that on GitHub pages. But if anyone wants to collaborate going further on this, I think it's, it's got a, a lot of promise, so it would be nice to 
continue that outside of the workshop. How many seconds have we got there? Right. They keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, you're almost out of time. Okay. Uh, good. Well, <laughs> <laughs>